In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to um, consume the Cloud Service Automation 3.2 Service Design out of the box content to provide um, a platform as a service LAMP stack. The prerequisites for this are a vCenter environment, obviously, with a Linux template with the SA agent integrated, template customization file, add vCenter into the Cloud Service Automation environment, and associate the out of the box content, the resource offerings, with the resource provider, and obviously the platform as a service software policies in server automation. So we jump straight to Cloud Service Automation, log into the Management Console. Jump straight into the Service Designs. And we're going to take a copy of the, um, the Service Design, which is the provision compute with the pass offering with the software policies from Server Automation. So quickly rename this policy okay now we jump into the designer and change the um, default properties to suit our environment so the customization spec for VMware vCenter Data center name. Disk size, in this case, just do 20 gig. Memory, again, just a small system. You one. OS type that uh, vCenter is expecting, Linux in this case. Um, template reference names. This is the template with SA baked into it. The SA agent baked into it. The default number of servers we're going to build, in this case we'll just do one for each tier. And again for the next piece of compute, the Linux, the, op the operating system type, which again will be Linux, and the template will be the same template. Now with all this complete, we can leave our service designs and go into our service offering. Create our new service offering. Create an offering. Select the, the new platform as a service we just created, service design we just created. And here then is where you can modify your service design. You can have many different sort of modify your service offering. You can have many service offerings going back to the one service design with different pricing, etc. I'm just going to change the icon here, but again, you can change the icon pricing and um, documentation can be attached to it, etc. And then once you've saved that, you're ready to present that ser that service offering out to a catalogue. So it becomes a catalog item. You get your catalogues. I'm going to use the default um, global shared catalog, which um, all our organizations will be able to see the contents of. Those were published offerings, add offering, and simply add our new pass and five, and select the category we want that to be in, we'll do application services. And that's it. So that's our platform as a service, service signed catalog offering in five minutes. To verify that now, we can just jump into our one of our user catalogs. Log in, and we we'll see when we go to our catalog underneath the application services. This is our new platform as a service in five, and then the user can select that.
consumer. And that's all there is really to using the out-of-the-box content. Thank you very much for your time.